study tornadoes in the two dimension and now kind of the next way to understand these storms is to take it into the three dimension and that's exactly what this project does. Basically they've taken the Moore Oklahoma tornado from May 20th 2013 which was an EF5 tornado that's as strong as they get and they've put it into a virtual environment. Uh, we've been talking about coursework and looking at things that people would be doing and Dave was showing me some of the amazing uh, illustra illustrations that you can build with weather radar and some of the software that's used in weather radar to identify storms and where the storms are going and where they're tracking and what they might do. The cube is a perfect environment for 3D immersion and we can now immerse people inside of a tornado. Here's the image here. Here's a three-dimensional image on the uh, level two radar for the tornado that happened in Moore, Oklahoma on May 20th, 2013. And so we're gonna essentially walk you through that image which was recreated right in through here. If we move just a little bit farther on, uh, I'll go through the tornado and you can see it there, the debris that's going all the way up to the sky. And... We've got meteorologists, we've got cameramen, and they're all working together. So this building is one of the most sophisticated buildings I've ever seen. I think the CUBE project is very important in the tornado sense in that it's going to allow people to understand what it's like to be inside a tornado, seeing it, hearing it. They don't have to actually go through a tornado to realize how scary, how terrifying things are inside the tornado. So they'll be prompted then, more likely to go take shelter in their safest place whenever they get a tornado warning. I think Virginia Tech here has decided that they want to have a little niche of the meteorological community that is a combination or an overlap to geography and to visualization and that may be the way of the future in terms of forecasting. It may not be the traditional forecasters but uh, things just like this. Uh, how do you visualize? How do you better bring and help the public to understand the weather forecasts? The pure meteorology positions where you're simply forecasting weather uh, from this point on in the future, those are becoming the minority of career positions and career paths. Um, most of them are synthetic positions where you're actually working as part of a team collaboratively to deal mainly with high impact weather events. The whole geography focus to give students a spatial understanding of weather or a temporal understanding of weather and the relationship it's incredibly important. Something like this really hasn't been done before um, with radar technology or with any real weather data at this scale. Um, and because of that, you know, it, it feels kind of cool to be on the pioneering edge of it. Um, but it's really just opened my eyes to more possibilities of things we can do. What are we going to be doing with this kind of technology 20, 30, 40 years from now?